good morning to one and all in the previous class we discussed about different kinds of surveys are taken in the part of construction of a highway that means before going to construct a particular amount of a particular length of highway we need to choose a proper location and alignments and different kinds of surveys we need to do for the construction of entire length of the road because it seems to be a project a mini mini and major projects for both of a highway that means mini project means before the construction we need to set a different types of points lengths and different kinds of markings for construction of a road and we need to measure how much length it was and how much depth we need to dig for a base work and how much amount of thickness we are constructing a particular road all those comes under these surveys that means some of the material surveys some of the land survey some of the other kind of surveys but in case of this highway construction we are having mainly four types of surveys in those first one is the map study second one is the recommend survey and third one is the preliminary survey and fourth one is the final location and the detailed study in those four studies we are having main part with the preliminary survey and the final detail survey so first first two are the basics and the three and four are the major parts of these surveys conditions already in the previous class we explained uh, this map study and the reconian survey once again we will revise those and uh, continue for today's class okay first of all uh, in the map study we are having this provisional alignments and densification that means uh, provisional alignment a proper alignment means uh, mainly regarding slope that means one in n and one in x this comes under slope alignment and uh, identification that means uh, wherever we are having a huge amount of uh, uh, mud and other uh, fractures so those things we need to identify and we need to densify the soil by using different types of additives and head mixers to maintain proper kind of slope okay once again we will discuss this map studies and other in this map study we are having totally four point three points in those three first of all by choosing this map study we need to eliminate few kind of obstructions and obstacles first of all uh, those are avoiding valleys comma ponds and lakes this valley means uh, that valley means manaki edana parvathalu alante parvathalu lagapothe that means uh, huge waterfalls all those comes under these valleys and next one ponds uh, whenever our highway or any other project goes through certain kind of villages in those villages we are having plenty of ponds to store water for our, for their future purpose like growing crops and other utilities so that whenever our project goes on villages we need to face these kind of ponds and other lakes okay this is the major obstacles in the first point like valleys and ponds and lakes and second one we need avoiding bend of river that means Uh, mainly our civilization uh, rises well beside the rivers wherever uh, there is a plenty of uh, water besides those plenty of water we constructed our buildings and other important uh, industries like uh, chemical industries or any other uh, industries to obtain uh, different kinds of products and uh, utilities so that uh, this uh, water is need in our human life so that uh, Our uh, entire civilization starts uh, in the in besides the rivers and other ponds, so that these rivers are having huge huge amount of uh, importance in our day to day life. Whenever our projects goes through these uh, rivers, that means uh, water structures, we need to avoid. In the previous case, we observed ponds and lakes in, in some of the few villages like that. The rivers, few we need to. divert our project by near side of the rivers so that we need to avoid these kind of rivers and other obstacles but in case of third 
point if the road has a cross row of hills that means uh, cross row of hills means nearby the hills that means uh, a few 10 to 20 meters uh, beside the hilly regions that means in our in the rainy seasons a huge amount of dropping of water through higher point to lower point so that a huge amount of erosion will takes place on particular uh, these hilly areas so huge amount of mud and other uh, soil strata will disturb the traveling equipment and uh, traveling uh, agencies so that we need to avoid the construction of road nearby these hills and other uh, hill climbs and uh, foothills so that our uh, traveling will be as much as easy all those can uh, surveyed in the part of map study that means uh, whenever we are having a huge amount of maps regarding that particular place we need to observe these kind of obstructions in the map itself so that we need not to go to that site and observe all these things whenever we go to that site we will observe some of the points and we will miss few points so that a lot of clumsy should be occurred in the study so that we are having these uh, map, maps so that all those can be identified in a particular map so that we need to evolve huge amount of data with less span of time so that this map study is having huge amount of importance next one uh, reconnaissance survey in this we need to observe uh, some of the important features like characteristics of the different kinds of buildings and obstructions so that we need to give some of the important factors for particular structures in example general characteristics of area of field deciding more feasible routes for detailed studies that means we are aiming for a particular length of route but we are having huge amount of obstructions so we have to reach in the entire plan due to this reconnaissance survey so that um, the main part of a Econian survey will observe these valleys, ponds, lakes and marshy lands. In the previous one, previous slide we observed these uh, ponds and lakes. But in case of this Econian survey, these marshy lands, uh, marshy lands means the chitkade bumulo on taru telugulo. Like wherever there is a huge amount of storage of water on top layers of the soil. That means not in a deep level, only with a height of uh, 1 to 2 meters that means uh, up to uh, 6 feet or uh, 10 feet the water will be available on the particular lands those fields are called these marshy lands those are uh, available uh, wherever whenever there is a huge amount of slope on a particular area these kind of marshy lands form due to stacking of particular amount of water particularly in rainy seasons those lands are called these marshy lands we need to observe these marshy lands also for our soil densification and other purposes and the permanent structure and other obstructions that means permanent structures wherever there are permanent structures like a huge amount of secretariats and high courts and other important buildings like hospitals and other important structures we need to give first priority to them after that we have to give the priority for our project and the value of gradient length and the gradient radius of the curve also we need to decide these gradients we will discuss in the second chapter that means slope whenever there is a arc like construction in the road we need to provide a proper amount of slope to mitigate these centripetal and centrifugal forces which are acting on particular amount of particular vehicles so that, so that if uh, mass of the vehicle improves increases automatically the centripetal and centrifugal forces also improves automatically our vehicle uh, should be drawn away from the center of that particular road due to huge amount of mass and other forces acting on that vehicle due to this uh, physical and uh, some amount of these uh, soil characteristics so we need to align this proper alignment and radius of curves due to and uh, next points are the number of type of cross drainage structures along that particular project that means cross drainage structures cross drainage structures means uh, if our project goes through these villages 
those villages which are having issues amount of water for the cultivation purposes so that the villages mainly having these canals and other water flowing structures so that our project should not go through on those water flowing structures like uh, these drainages and cross drainage works whenever there is a rainy season or uh, they have to harvest uh, lands automatically these uh, structures will be filled with a huge amount of water so that the soil strata will uh, disturbance due to this uh, presence of water and next one a huge flood level or high flood level these high flood level we mainly observe in the rainy seasons so due to huge amount of uh, water that means water than nothing but uh, in the rains in a few cases that means uh, like floods and other storms and tufan lo antaru manaku main ga idi in case of these uh, storms and others we have to face huge amount of rain for a particular weeks and uh, days that means uh, more than 3 uh, days and uh, 3 to 10 days we have to face these uh, rain problems particularly so that we need to characterize these high flood levels so whenever there is a high flood level uh, like uh, assam orissa we are having a uh, huge amount of water due to these rains so that uh, mainly this brahmaputra river in assam and orissa having huge amount of flood levels in rainy seasons the total water coming to our uh, krishna river and other godavari rivers uh, mainly due to this brahmaputra river and other aligned branches of that river mainly we need to observe those kind of uh, properties also next to soil characteristics soil characteristics means uh, some of the soils having a huge amount of bearing capacities some of them are having a less quantity of bearing capacity we need to find out those using some uh, geological uh, testing operators and we need to show those different kinds of property like liquid limit and plastic limit uh, and the shrinkage limits and other index indices for different soils and the rest other geological features those geological features we will mainly observe faults faults and unconformities and other obstructions other gaps which are formed in the earth level at below and above the ground levels we need to observe those are all comes under reconnaissance survey next one we will observe this preliminary survey this is the main important survey in the preliminary survey we are having uh, three major points the survey which various alternative alignments proposed after the completion of the project by physical information and detailed topography of the topography and drainage of the soil this means uh, alternative alignments that means we are planned for a particular length of road so that uh, in the road having a uh, different obstructions uh, which are seen in the previous slide so that the entire study or plan should be changed according to the conditions so that we need to align different kinds those things we will observe in the first points in next second point we will compare the different proposals of the particular project that means previously we are having you know, without objection ob obstructions and with obstructions we are comparing the projects so without obstructions we are having a which amount of length and with obstructions we are having which amount of length by constructing those two kinds of roads we need to do some paper work that means we need to estimate how much quantity of materials we have to buy and how much amount of manpower we need to do we need to have and how much amount of these equipments we have to sold all those we need to calculate all those comes under these estimations and we need to estimate that means the total cost of the budget should be entirely depends upon these estimations of the different quantities of materials and next one estimation of the quantity of earth work materials and other construction aspect to work out the cost of alternative proposal that means these are entire estimations can be these entire estimations can be depends upon the different the quantities of the projects and networks we have to do that means if there is a different kinds of alignment that means we need to do first of all these earthworks we need to stabilize the soil and the top layer should be we need to modify with a different kinds of 
ఆల్టర్నేటివ్ మెటీరియల్స్ లైక్ ఫ్లై యాష్ జీజీపీఎస్ స్టోన్ డస్ట్ అండ్ అదర్ క్వారీ డస్ట్ ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ వీ నీడ్ టు యూజ్ ఇన్ ద టాప్ లేయర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద సాయిల్ టు డెన్సిఫై అండ్ వీ నీడ్ టు ప్రిపేర్ ప్రాపర్ ఎంబ్యాక్మెంట్స్ అండ్ అదర్ గ్రేడియంట్స్ ఫర్ కన్స్ట్రక్షింగ్ ఆల్ దోస్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎట్ వర్క్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు డూ వీ హ్యావ్ టు డూ ఇన్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఇన్వెస్ట్ ఎక్స్ విత్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ మనీ ఫర్ దట్ పర్టికులర్ పాయింట్స్ ఇది ఆర్ ఆల్ కమ్స్ అండర్ డిఫరెంట్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ సర్వేస్ వీ నీడ్ టు డూ బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ టు కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఏ పర్టికులర్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ పర్టికులర్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ప్రిలిమినరీ సర్వే వీఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ కన్వెన్షనల్ అప్రోచ్ దట్ మీన్స్ సర్వే పార్ట్లీ క్యారీస్ అవుట్ దిస్ సర్వేస్ యూజింగ్ రిక్వైర్డ్ ఫీల్డ్ ఎక్విప్మెంట్ అండ్ టేకింగ్ మెజర్మెంట్స్ కలెక్టింగ్ టోపోగ్రాఫికల్ అండ్ అదర్ డేటా అండ్ క్యారింగ్ ద సాయిల్ సర్వే దీస్ ఆల్ పాయింట్స్ ఐ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ లైట్స్ సో దట్ ఆల్ దోస్ కమ్స్ అండర్ దిస్ కన్వెన్షనల్ అప్రోచ్ దట్ మీన్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు డూ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్విప్మెంట్స్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఫర్ కన్స్ట్రక్టింగ్ ఏ స్మాల్ స్కేల్ ఆఫ్ రోడ్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఇన్ అవర్ నార్మల్లీ ఇన్ అవర్ రెసిడెన్షియల్ ఏరియాస్ వీ హ్యావ్ వీ ఆర్ కన్స్ట్రక్టింగ్ ఏ రోడ్ విత్ సిమెంట్ కాంక్రీట్ సో దట్ నార్మల్లీ డ్రమ్ మిక్సర్ ఈజ్ యూజ్ ఫర్ ద కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఆఫ్ మిక్సింగ్ ఆఫ్ ది సిమెంట్ కాంక్రీట్ మెటీరియల్ సో దట్ వీ వోంట్ నీడ్ మై ఫ్యూ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్విప్మెంట్స్ బట్ ఇన్ కేస్ ఆఫ్ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఏ రోడ్ ఆన్ దీస్ హైవేస్ అండ్ అదర్ అదర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ రోడ్స్ వీ నీడ్ టు యూస్ డిఫరెంట్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ హై రైజ్ ఎక్విప్మెంట్స్ ఫర్ ప్రాపర్ అలైన్ ఫర్ గెటింగ్ ప్రాపర్ అలైన్మెంట్స్ అండ్ అదర్ థింగ్స్ సో దట్ ఆల్ దోస్ దీస్ కమ్స్ అండర్ కన్వెన్షనల్ అప్రోచెస్ ఆఫ్ డిఫరెంట్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ మెటీరియల్స్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఆల్ దోస్ కమ్స్ అండర్ దీస్ ఫీల్డ్ ఎక్విప్మెంట్స్ అండ్ అప్రోచెస్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ టేకింగ్ మెజర్మెంట్స్ దట్ మీన్స్ బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ టు లే అ పర్టికులర్ రోడ్ వీ నీడ్ టు మెజర్ ఫర్ వాట్ లెద్ వీ నీడ్ టు కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ అండ్ థిక్నెస్ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు మెయింటైన్ అండ్ క్వాంటిటీ ఆఫ్ ద మెటీరియల్ వీ నీడ్ అండ్ పర్టికులర్లీ ద క్వాలిటీ ఆఫ్ ద మెటీరియల్ క్వాంటిటీ అండ్ క్వాలిటీ బోత్ ఆర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఇన్ ద కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ వర్క్ ఇఫ్ ద క్వాలిటీ ఈజ్ గుడ్ అండ్ ద క్వాంటిటీ ఈజ్ లెస్ దట్ మీన్స్ వీఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ థిక్నెస్ వేరీస్ లైక్ దట్ వీ నీడ్ టు డూ బోత్ క్వాంటిటీ అండ్ క్వాలిటీ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ టోపోగ్రఫికల్ అండ్ అదర్ డేటా క్యారియింగ్ అవుట్ ఇన్ ద సాయిల్ సర్వే దట్ మీన్స్ టోపోగ్రఫికల్ డేటా ఆల్ వీఆర్ కలెక్టెడ్ ఇన్ రెకోనెన్స్ సర్వే అండ్ టోపోగ్రఫికల్ సర్వే బై యూజింగ్ దీస్ మ్యాప్స్ అండ్ అదర్స్ అండ్ అదర్ ఫీల్డ్ ఎక్విప్మెంట్స్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ ద ప్రిలిమినరీ సర్వే కంటిన్యూషన్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ప్లెయిన్ టెర్రైన్ అండ్ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ టెర్రైన్స్ వీఆర్ హియర్ వీఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ హియర్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ప్లెయిన్ టెర్రైన్ దట్ మీన్స్ నో అబ్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ ఆన్ ద టాప్ లైన్ ఆఫ్ ద సాయిల్ దట్ మీన్స్ వీ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ హండ్రెడ్ టు టూ హండ్రెడ్ ఎంఎం లెంత్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ ద రోలింగ్ టెర్రైన్ ఫిఫ్టీ మీటర్స్ అండ్ హిల్లీ టెర్రైన్స్ థర్టీ మీటర్స్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద క్రాస్ సెక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ డిఫరెంట్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొఫైల్స్ ఇన్ ప్లెయిన్ టెర్రైన్ అండ్ రోలింగ్ టెర్రైన్ అండ్ హిల్లీ టెర్రైన్ దోస్ డిస్టెన్సెస్ యూ నీడ్ టు రిమంబర్ ఫర్ ప్లెయిన్ టెర్రైన్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద మినిమమ్ అండ్ మ్యాక్సిమమ్ లెన్స్ రోలింగ్ టెర్రైన్స్ అండ్ హిల్లీ టెర్రైన్స్ అండ్ అదర్ స్టడీస్ యూ నీడ్ టు డూ ఆర్ డ్రైనేజ్ ఫర్ రోడ్స్ అండ్ హైడ్రోలాజికల్ సర్వే అనే పర్టికులర్ అనే పర్టికులర్ ఏరియా వాట్ ఈస్ ద యాన్యువల్ రైన్ఫాల్ వీ ఆర్ గెటింగ్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఇఫ్ ద యాన్యువల్ రైన్ఫాల్ ఈజ్ వెరీ లో దట్ మీన్స్ వీ నీడ్ వీ డోంట్ వర్రీ టు కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ ఏ రోడ్ బట్ ఇస్ ద యాన్యువల్ రైన్ఫాల్ ఈజ్ ఇస్ వెరీ హై దట్ మీన్స్ వీ నీడ్ టు డూ ఫ్రమ్ సమ్ ప్రాపర్ ఎంబ్యాక్మెంట్ అండ్ అదర్స్ డ్యూ టు దీస్ హైడ్రోలాజికల్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ సాయిల్ సర్వే దిస్ ఈస్ ద మెయిన్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ప్రాపర్టీ వీ నీడ్ టు డూ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీ ప్రాజెక్ట్ వెదర్ ఇట్ మే బీ స్మాల్ స్కేల్ అండ్ లార్జ్ స్కేల్ వీ నీడ్ టు డూ దిస్ సాయిల్ సర్వే ఫర్ ఎవ్రీ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ ట్రాఫిక్ అండ్ అదర్ మెటీరియాలజికల్ సర్వేస్ దట్ మీన్స్ ట్రాఫిక్ ఇఫ్ దెర్ ఈజ్ ఏ స్మాల్ స్కేల్ ఆఫ్ సిటీ దట్ మీన్స్ ఇట్ ఈజ్ ఏ విలేజ్ రోడ్ ఆర్ స్మాల్ రోడ్ దట్ మీన్స్ నో ట్రాఫిక్ సర్వే ఈజ్ నీడెడ్ మినిమమ్ యావరేజ్ స్పీడ్ యావరేజ్ స్పీడ్ అండ్ యావరేజ్
जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड दिस जियोलॉजी दिस दिस जियोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट्स हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ फोल्स एंड हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ टॉप लेयर्स वी आर हैविंग ऑल दो थिंग्स वी आर डिस्कस इन अनदर सब्जेक्ट दैट मीन्स इंजीनियरिंग जियोलॉजी वी आर हैविंग इन थर्ड इयर फर्स्ट सेमिस्टर वी विल डिस्कस इन थर्ड इयर फर्स्ट सेमिस्टर एंड सॉइल प्रॉपर्टीज वी विल डिस्कस इन थर्ड इयर सेकेंड सेमिस्टर those two subject having different kinds of properties both are related to soil but their uh, strategy is different and the next one finalize the best alignment from the considerations by comparative analysis of the alternative routes by uh, studying uh, those two kinds of proposals like uh, geological survey and the geo soil survey we need to give the particular route and we need to consider different points and compare the analysis for both of those and alternative routes that means first of all we need to do different kinds of surveys after the different kinds of surveys is over we need to choose different kinds of plants on that particular amount of length and after that particular length of plants we need to estimate the different kinds of estimations that means how much amount of materials we need for different kinds of approaches after those approaches we need to finally select a particular plan by considering all those by satisfying these all those conditions and criteria okay this comes under this modern rapid approach and next one of final location and detailed survey that means final location and detailed survey after uh, uh, getting these all those values and approaches we need to set particular final location points and those points uh, should be may, uh, those points should be told to our higher officials like other area other engineers and other chief executive engineers and others those finalize these projects after the finalization is over we need to locate particular points the alignment of final either at the design office after the preliminary survey is to be located by the field by establishing the center line okay this thing you need to memorize the center line this term you will observe in estimation and costing in your final year central line after the total project is over we need to start the marking stuff those particular roads and other buildings that means if the marking is over the final uh, the finalization of project is over after the finalization of the project first of all we need to mark particular points that means uh, wa- in what length we are constructing uh, for those particular length and width what is the center line for that particular road by using this center line we will have to use these different kinds of markings so that our study is over we are going to construct a particular amount of road on this particular marked line along this marked lines that is the meaning of those marking of lines next one location survey once again we will discuss this location survey transferring the alignment onto the ground location survey means whatever we are get on the uh, till now we are get on the we are, what we are get is the values and observations what we have taken on that particular sites all those can be kept on the paper itself but after the finalization of project is over we need to get those paper work into the field work that means whatever the values we are get on the paper we need to implement all those values into the field that means by marking and uh, different kinds of arrangements we need to construct next one this is done by transit theodolites in the surveying subject and surveying lab you are having two kinds of lab first one radial survey and compass normal survey and that means chain survey and theodolitic survey two types of surveys you are having in the first year you are having the chain surveys in the second semester you are having this compass surveys and theodolitic surveys and the total station you are having by using these theodolites you have to measure these to both horizontal angles and vertical angles by using these horizontal angles and vertical angles we have to set a proper alignment to that particular road okay this is the importance of this pure light pure light is used to particular alignments of the different kinds of roads and just to third point 
major and minor control points are established on the ground by center pegs these pegs are the end points of particular line while we are construct while we are measuring a particular length what is the starting point what is the ending point what is the middle point we need to kept some amount of uh, some number of pegs on that particular along the length of the line so that uh, these pegs will help to what is the length we are measuring it what is the starting point what is the ending point along the length uh, how much of uh, length distance is there we need to choose those by using these pegs and other driven equipments like uh, ranging rods and others next one checking the geometric design requirements that means uh, what is the design was given by the higher authorities so those designs we need to mark on particular site so those things can be marked by using different uh, soil, uh, surveying equipments like this uh, above we discussed about theor lights and the survey chain surveys and other pegs and the ranging rods all those can be used here next one central line stacks are driven in suitable interval vents so that uh, say 50 mm interval in the plain rolling terrains and 220 meters in hilly terrains in the previous we are studied in the plain terrains we are having 100 to 200 mm rolling terrains hilly terrains like that we need to up implement here on particular central line what amount of length we need to have all those can be explained here and next one final locational detail survey continuation points detail survey temporary benchmarks are fixed at the intervals of the about 250 meters and the all drainage under pass structures first of all you need to know this benchmark what is benchmark is it a benchmark having any bench or other nothing but it is a technical term used in the surveying whenever we are measuring a particular line or length first of all we need to set a particular point from that point we are measuring a length that means the, the starting point is called as a benchmark for that particular survey by using this benchmark we will uh, do all the surveys for the particular road so that at a starting point is called as the benchmark uh, by using that benchmark we need to categorize the different uh, intervals like to the previous rolling terrain plain terrain and uh, hilly terrains like that by choosing the what terrain we are having according to those we need to measure different kinds of alignments next one we need to do this earthwork calculations and drainage details and other worked out from the different levels of by using different levels of books that means uh, by we are having a uh, new strategies for doing uh, this work as simple as possible so that uh, by observing different kinds of uh, methods and uh, different uh, proposals we need to choose yeah which by using which proposal we need to do our best work with a less span of time and uh, low cost of money by the different kinds of studies in the different books okay this at work calculations all those come, comes under these uh, surveys next one cross sectional levels are to be taken at an interval of 50 to 100 meters in plain terrains 50 to 75 meters in rolling terrains and 50 meters in built up areas 20 meters in a hilly areas you need to remember those all those can be comes in surveying part those surveying part is assembled a few points here that means on a, with, uh, with uh, what interval we need to take observation that means uh, first of all uh, starting point is called benchmark from the benchmark for every 25 meters we need to mark a particular point that means a cross or any other symbol we need to mark there at that particular mark we need to keep a particular small amount of pegs in the previous slide we are studied here pegs center pegs are driven that means whenever we are have fixed a particular amount of benchmark on that particular line we need to mark and after the marking is over we need to stand a particular amount of peg on that particular marking so that our total length will be observed while we are traveling from the benchmark and the next details of soil survey is to be carried out 
that means the details of soil uh, survey if the on the along the length of the road we need to categorize different kinds of uh, the squares and other rectangular patterns so from that particular pattern we need to driven few amount of soil and those soil can be tested in the laboratories so those plasticity key index is what amount the liquid limit is what amount and the soil bearing capacity is what amount all those things we need to know the next one is cbr value this cbr means california bearing ratio this cbr value is so much useful for designing if you many projects the cbr value can be used huge amount of information regarding the particular amount of soil what is the stresses principal stresses uh, how much amount of principal stresses the soil having which amount of load can be bared by the particular amount of soil and particular area next one the data during the detailed survey should be elaborated and complete for the preparing detailed plans design and estimation of the particular project okay all those data like uh, the surveying data and the geological data that means uh, geo geological data means uh, we are taking a particular soil samples and getting the different kinds of values all those values and the surveying values we need to note down in a different uh, formats after the all formats are over we need to re regain few amounts of points first of all uh, then after the all the things is over we need to regain few amount of points in terms of these uh, drawings and reports that means uh, the along the length first square what we are having the cbr values and the length of the square is which and uh, width of the square is which like that we need to draw different kinds of pattern and a particular each pattern what is the values and what is the slopes we are having and what is the gradients we are having is there any soil strata is differ first point to second point all those things we need to kept here first one key map key map means uh, we are laying a particular road that road is can that road is connecting which places that means uh, suppose we are laying a particular road from uh, in the guntur region in the guntur region from which is uh, which villages uh, the road is constructing the nearby villages are uh, what and what so that we need to mention in the key map the next one index map that means uh, in the index maps we need to show on particular points so from that village what is the length of the starting road and what is the length of the ending road uh similarly different kinds of points we need to locate in the index map a next one of preliminary survey plans on those particular surveys that means the lens uh, thicknesses and a different kinds of proposals particular uh, nearby where to where uh, any temples or any other important structures we are having those surveys we need to take in the preliminary survey plans next one uh, detailed plans and longitudinal sections that means total detailed plan about the particular project and what kind of road we are constructing and nearby structures what we are having in the longitudinal cross, cross sections what are the obstructions we are facing uh, what is the minimum distance between successive obstructions all those things can be explained this in the detailed plan and longitudinal section after that a detailed plan is over we need to give a detailed cross section that means uh, whenever we are having a particular obstruction we need to mark those obstructions in the detailed cross sections and we need to show in the pictorial representation that means uh, we are having a small uh, canal or any river as a obstruction we need to show uh, the obstructional canal or river having a few dimensions like uh, length and width and with what amount of length we are uh, having obstruction in that particular road for suppose i will uh, yes, give a small example while we are traveling on that particular road and the canal having uh, 10 meters of length and uh, 5 meters of uh, width so that uh, those 10 meters and 5 meters we need to show in a particular pictorial representation uh, along the length of the road we are having a canal with these dimensions 
so that we need to construct a particular uh, passage over that canal and on the passage we need to construct this road this is the detailed cross section about this service and next one uh, land acquisition plans this land acquisition all you are aware like in amravati a huge amount of land acquisition has takes place from farmers and other persons so that first of all whenever what whenever we will go for construction we need to engage few few amount of land for that construction so that if the land is completely on government so that we won't have to face any problems if the land belongs to any other person other persons we need to take that land for for our project so that it will be as some of what hard to the constructors so that we need to take some land from the by using this land acquisition system and also we need to show how much of land i acquired from the others in the drawings the next one drawings of cross drainage and other retaining structures we need to maintain in a separate files uh, this is the cross drainage we are having along the road and uh, we are having uh, side canals and we are having different types of retaining structures so retaining structures uh, that means uh, if there are the road is going be besides the small amount of hills and other uh, few amount of uh, high structures that means uh, if there is any uh mudder any like uh, materials that means oka matti godalu lanti gani unnai ankonde manaki kala pakka nunchi velthunappudu in case of rainy seasons all those fall on the road particular road we need to construct uh, these uh, retaining structures so that all the retaining structures will act as a wall and protect the road from our future purposes so we need to maintain these retaining structures and others along the roads and different kinds of drawings whenever there is a road intersections that means these intersections are also called crossings at that particular crossing what is the minimum length we need to maintain and for zebra crossing purpose and vehicular rotation purpose and signals purpose and traffic police we need to allocate some amount of land for all those purposes we need to show those drawings for particularly intersectional purposes next one uh, land plans showing quarries etc that means uh, land plans showing quarries uh, this quarry means uh, not related to dredging and other uh, few people are asking uh, different kinds of uh, remunerations and other things and few people are uh, not to uh, follow our project all those are having a different kinds of quarries those quarries also we need to mention in the particular project after completing all of those over we need to start our project by using these kinds of studies first one a map study that means by using different geological maps we need to start our project second one reconnaissance survey that means uh, in the field itself what we are having different kinds of marshy lands or any other wetlands we need to choose by using this reconnaissance survey after the reconnaissance survey is over we need to go for preliminary survey that means in the preliminary survey we need to survey by using different kinds like what is the length we need to construct is there any obstructions or any other passages are in the road all those comes under this preliminary survey and after that preliminary survey is over we need to do some localization and finalized alignment that means we need to give some central lines central lines for that particular project this is comes under this local line and final alignment after the central line is over we need to go for detailed survey that means whatever length we are having above the ground level what is the length of the road we are having and what is the amount of landfill is there all those comes under this detailed survey after the detailed survey is over we need to go for this meteorological survey that means material survey means uh, what amount of land is over the ground level what amount of land is below the ground level how much amount of earth work we need to do for that particular project all those comes under this material survey and after the survey is over we need to choose different kinds of materials which are useful for the construction of the road so suppose it is a cement concrete road we need to choose 
is cement and locally available aggregates like uh, sand and other uh, metals for the particular roads if there is a bt road we need to make an order for that particular bituminous tar property materials and after that uh, material survey is over we need to go for this geometrical and structural design that means geometrical and structural in this geometrical design we will go for different kinds of materials and their properties by using these materials what strength we are obtaining at that particular location so what amounts of thickness we need to maintain all those comes under this geometrical design and structural design in the structural design part we will go for if the road is having different kinds of passages with water and other any other super passages for suppose in the national highway we are having nh16 there is a super super passages like you know whenever there is a meeting of different kinds of villages with one and other we need to construct a super passage so that all those comes under these structural designs and next one earthwork earthwork means the earthwork mainly comes under the super passages we need to maintain embankment levels for that particular embankments what amount of earthwork we need to have for that particular earthwork what material we need to fill after the filling is over on the top layer what we are have to do is there any work and next after this all works are over we need to go for pavement construction that means earthwork is over that means all the earth is solidified after the solidification of earth we need to go for this pavement construction that means for a one single lane road we need to construct a 3.5 meters and a double lane road of 7 meters like that different kinds of lanes we need to go for different lengths and widths and next after the pavement construction is over we need to go for this constructional controls this constructional controls means uh, we need to do some uh, constructional uh, values and other uh, things in the book so that what amount of length we have to construct and what length we have to do and the thickness is already existed or any other uh, errors are there we need to modify those errors by using this constructional controls this is the total of project step by step now this is the bibliography that means for every project we need to refer few amount of books and uh, publication journals so that we are having a doubt clarifications by using those journals and these books for completion of our teaching class also we have having few amount of books as prescribed by jnt you for a particular subject you need to refer those books for different topics all the topics should not be in a single book so that we need to refer different books for different topics okay this is the bibliography that means courses in kanna and gesto this book is mostly used for the transportation engineering subject and next one is the irc code that means indian road congress codes indian road congress has prescribed a few uh, huge amount of uh, codes for constructional pro- practices and others so that you need to refer those two books today's class is over